Pollution of our oceans and rivers is a growing problem in the world due to plastic bags and all other types of plastic. This problem affects our community as well. It impacts wildlife and our rivers ecosystems. Fernie is a community that thrives on tourism and wildlife is an important component. The plastic bag crisis has a huge global impact and we can reverse this problem one town at a time, starting with banning plastic bags in Fernie. 32 countries around the world have banned plastic bags, reducing waste and pollution from plastic bags. Half of these countries are located in Africa. South Africa has reduced their use of plastic bags by 90% since banning them. Hawaii and California are the only two states that have banned plastic bags in the U.S. San Francisco banned plastic bags in 2007, reducing plastic bag pollution by 72%. San Francisco also charges a 10 cent tax for paper bags. San Francisco saves 600000 every year in plastic processing fees since the ban of plastic bags. China banned plastic bags in 2008 and has seen a decrease in plastic bag litter by 60% to 80%, a reduction in 40 billion bags. In August 2017, Kenya banned plastic bags. If someone is found making or selling plastic bags, they need to pay up to $40,000 or up to four years in prison. Fernie should learn from pre previous examples of how banning plastic bags can posi positively impact the environment and save money. Fernie should set an example for other communities by banning plastic bags and encourage other communities to do the same. All of the benefits in other places proves that it is a good idea for Fernie and that Fernie should encourage other places to take action one step at a time. The effect of plastic on plants and animals. Plastic has a huge effect on animals throughout the whole world. Some facts are... In the Elk Valley, not just fish are affected, but other animals such as beaver, frogs, and birds are affected. Animals mistake plastic for food, then end up eating the plastic, which ends up injuring or killing them. Plastic also affects plants, and here are some facts. The plastic affects plants because plastic contains toxins that are poisonous to the earth and plants. Plastic is a principal problem in Canada and is causing major problems to our ecosystems. Here are some facts about plastic. Scientists have recently discovered microplastic in the Arctic ice and glaciers. 100,000 marine mammals and turtles and 1 million seabirds are killed by marine plastic pollution annually. Plastic is so popular because it's one of the most used products in our world. People generally use it because it's always available and is a reliable source. Most of our plastic is one-use plastic, which is contributing to destroying our environment. Many other reasons why plastic is so popular are it's cheap, flexible, durable, and it's in everything including our clothes and even paint. By using other alternatives for plastic, we can help reduce the amount of plastic in our world and make it a better place. We can reduce plastic bags in our community by using a variety of different bags. Paper bags, canvas bags, calico bags, cotton bags, jute bags. We can even recycle t-shirts into beautiful recyclable bags. All these bags only cost 5 to $30, and by spending this little amount of money, we can help save our planet. All of these great options can come in different shapes, sizes, colors, and prices. These are especially great for Fernie because they convey the local flair. By using these different types of bags that are better for our environment, we will reduce and possibly eradicate the amount of plastic bags we use in our community. Another reason why it would be a good idea to get rid of plastic bags is because plastic bags also largely impact the oceans. When waste enters the ocean, a large portion of it goes into making giant garbage patches in the Pacific Ocean. You may think that what we do has nothing to do with the ocean, but in reality, 90% of the waste in the oceans comes from rivers. Although plastic cannot biodegrade in the ocean, they can break up into small particles that become pollutants. When it does, it releases very harmful chemicals that poison marine life. Animals are affected greatly by this because they have to live in the polluted areas. The smaller animals, such as fish and frogs, can get trapped in plastic bags, and the large animals, like turtles, can eat the plastic, thinking it's food. Did you know that more than 100,000 marine animals are killed by plastic trash every year? Plastic bags mainly affect turtles because they look a lot like jellyfish and are commonly found in the stomachs of deceased turtles. According to a study in 2012, the population of freshwater animals has declined by 81% since 1970, mainly because of pollution. The Elk River is directly connected to the Pacific Ocean through the Columbia River, so a majority of the waste in the river will end up in the ocean. 
If it doesn't make it to the ocean, it will probably get stuck in the, to the bottom of the river, where it is very hard to notice and clean up. Did you know that between 1.15 to 2 to 4.38 million tons of plastic enters the, the, enters the ocean through rivers every year? That's the equivalent of 500,000 elephants. Today our grade 8 9 outdoor ed class went to Maiden Lake and in under an hour we collected all these plastics and other objects. As we see here we separated them into um, a couple different piles. We have our recyclables, we have all the cans that people drink at parties, we have our cardboard, our plastic bags, and even big pile of foam. As we were collecting the garbage, we kept track of the amount of waste found and what types of garbage are polluting for any the most. As we found in Coal Creek, cigarette butts were very common. They found 809 in just one hour, whereas around Main Lake, we only found 58 cigarette butts, but found at least 91 plastic pieces. Both locations happened to be spots used for partying and many beverage cans can be left behind. In Coal Creek, we found 68, and at Main Lake, we found 59. One of the main things to have found were plastic bags. In these two places, we found over 230 plastic bags. This is just some of the ways found around in certain places in Fernie, and banning plastic bags would be a great start on reducing garbage. Options for river filters. When researching, we found four filters that we think will work best in Fernie. Ultra debris screens, storm sentinel drains, ultra oil and debris blockers, and trash guards are all different types of filters, but they play a similar role in keeping our rivers and oceans clean. Ultra debris screens use a fine screen that stops pieces of plastic from entering the river and killing marine life. This screen is used on the output drains near the Elk River in Fernie. The screen is made out of recycled materials that do not rust or break down. The only downside is that it would have to be cleaned depending on how much garbage is accumulating behind the screen. The average price for an ultra debris screen is around $200. The website we used were selling them for $225 each. Storm sentinel drains are used in street drains to filter flat plastics from entering our rivers. The drain almost looks like a garbage bag, but it works by letting water through when the bag fills up so that the plastic stays in. They can be emptied when the bag is full. When looking at the prices of a storm sentinel drain, the lowest price was $73. Ultra oil and debris blockers are another option for street drains. They are simple and effective filters that force water to enter a pipe that filters trash. Um, debris and Trash float on the water surface while dirt and sediment sink to the bottom of the filter, allowing only clean water to pass through. The only bad thing about this filter is that there are so many street drains in Fernie. The city would have to invest a lot of money in ultra oil debris blockers or storm sentinel drains. Each unit costs $289. Trash guards are drains that would work well where water enters the rivers in the dike in the annex. They are designed to catch bigger pieces of trash, but it would pair good with the ultra debris screen so that trash guard catches the bigger trash so that the debris screen would catch small trash and not get clogged up as fast. The only downside to this trash guard is that the small pieces of trash could get through and enter the Elk River. Prices range from $198 to $839 depending on the type of filter. In conclusion, we believe we are speaking for the whole community when we say that plastic bags are a big issue and unnecessary, especially in a beautiful town like Fernie. Ever since plastic bags were introduced to Fernie, their impacts have gotten more and more severe. By banning plastic bags, our town can become a better and healthier place to live for people and animals alike.